TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time, two hours left to go in the trading day. And it's a negative action day to start things off as we have all the major indices pretty dramatically in the red. Led by the NASDAQ, currently 172 points in negative territory, or just at about 2%, trading at 75.20. You get the Dow negative 316. It was off about 400 at one point, currently trading 24,268. And S&P's negative by 41, trading at 27. 18. Gold contract, negative $2, trading at $12.68. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, jump in on some of those futures markets. We'll start off with the Dow. So we're off the session, <clears throat> excuse me, off the session lows that we made just after noon Eastern time down there about 24,130. We're approaching 130 points off that low, currently trading 24,255. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. NASDAQ the laggard for the group, NASDAQ 100 off the lows, made it about 7,011 just after 1 o'clock, currently trading about 20 NASDAQ points higher at 7,034. S&P 500 currently trading 27.16, lows made of about 27.04, so about 12 points off the lows. You get the gold contract in a pretty, excuse me, pretty tight trading range today, currently trading 12.68. Crude oil with some volatility was up at 69.40 earlier, now a dollar off those highs, trading at 68.27. And Bitcoin trading about 62.86, that all elusive 59.22 low hanging out there from February. So in terms of what else you have happening, jumping over, I wanted to pull up let me get this here. You have the chip stocks down today and AMD coming off those lows. And as we get to the most active stocks for the day, you're going to see those tech stocks up there led by AMD. And these are off the lows. That would explain why the NASDAQ is off the lows. But you have AMD and Micron, two, uh, two not of the most, the two most active stocks for the day. AMD down 65 cents, Micron down about $4. And then jumping to another interest during excuse me, interesting story I saw it here on the Bloomberg. Facebook's Instagram estimated to top $100 billion in terms of value. Pretty remarkable when you look that Facebook bought Instagram in 2012 for just $1 billion, but they talk about they're about to exceed 2 billion users. They're growing in the US, which Facebook is not doing, and Instagram's audience is younger. So good for Facebook scooping that up when they could for $1 billion. Pretty remarkable. $100 billion company under the Facebook umbrella. Stay tuned for Man David White coming up right now. Have a great Monday.